organize a meeting on behalf of somebody else, a Teams meeting. That's what this video is about. But first, a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, don't forget to share this video with your colleagues and friends. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, you may be a secretary or uh, somebody who makes appointments for other people. Um, then it's important that you can make this appointment uh, for this person and that he can still uh, log in to this Teams meeting. Well, let's go into uh, Microsoft Outlook. Um, and uh, as you can see, I'm in Outlook. I'm first going to shift a bit uh, in my normal mailbox and the shared mailbox. If I go to the calendar, I have a calendar view of my own calendars. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to select the shared calendar. Uh, I'm going to close the uh, my own calendar for this one uh, let's go to day view and let's make a new meeting a new appointment and this is still uh, as a delegate so uh, as a on behalf uh, so let's call this uh, board meeting and uh, let's make it uh, directly a teams meeting so in this meeting, I'm going to invite Debbie and uh, Peng. And uh, as you can see, they are still online. So now I'm going to send the invite. Now that it's sent, I'm going to go back into the uh, calendar. I'm going to click on uh, the meeting options. The browser opens and I can uh, directly go in here. In my case, the, uh, the settings are so that only I can bypass the lobby and I have to admit everybody. So in this case, I'm going to say, okay, uh, but uh, as a organizer, which is Debbie in this case, I want to uh, um, change it because my shared calendar is not attending this meeting. So I'm going to add Debbie to this meeting. Oh, I have to write it correctly. And now she is a co-organizer. See, everybody may present. All settings are still the same except that one. So I uh, save it. And uh, I can close the browser and let's go to Debbie. Now I'm in the browser or at least in the Teams app uh, and I see my board meeting. I'm going to accept it. And uh, as you can see, I do not have any other options. I can categorize, that's, uh, that's also a way. Uh, so that's it uh, for Debbie. So let's go in and log in as Peng. I'm in the browser now with a Peng, as you can see. And I'm going to log in now. I'm gonna join the meeting and gonna put out the sound. All right, um, what it says is that uh, we have to wait till somebody admit, admits us to the meeting. This is the normal one which you would get, um, but if you wouldn't be an organizer, you couldn't let them in, especially uh, if you are a secretary who made the appointment for you, uh, then uh, it's impossible. But let's go to Debbie and uh, join the meeting as well. We can see that there are already people waiting and uh, let's uh, make this a little bit smaller. Turn off the mic and uh, sound, join. And uh, what we see is that uh, Peng is waiting in the lobby. But as you can see, Debbie is not the account which I created this meeting with. So now I can admit Peng to the meeting. He's admitted. And what we see, we have uh, a lot of options, 
but we are still missing one. We see that Demo is an organizer and uh, Debbie is organizer. Um, <clears throat> so to uh, see what uh, else there, we have almost all options, but some options uh, are not enabled. So like uh, breakout rooms, you have not uh, enabled in here. So that's, that's kind of uh, uh, missing out. Uh, if we look at the meeting options, um, we see that only the um, meeting organizer can change them. And as Debbie is not the the real organizers, you cannot change them. So we miss some features, but most of them are in uh, in the application. So this is what I wanted to show you about uh, creating a meeting for somebody else uh, within uh, Teams. We can end the meeting for all, so I will end it. Um, and that's it. Actually, this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, of course, there are still things that you may want to have changed, uh, but let's see that in the future. Uh, at least I hope. Um, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my video, uh, share it with your colleagues or friends. And uh, if you uh, have any comments, please leave them underneath uh, the video uh, and I will uh, review them and uh, answer them if you have any questions. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.